from the CBS Bay Area studios, this is KPIX 5 News. And welcome back to KPIX 5 this morning. The time is 629. I'm Melissa Kane. Good morning. I'm Devin Feely. Strong winds may have been behind an unpleasant surprise for some folks in Martinez. That's right. A large oak tree went crashing down yesterday afternoon. It brought down power lines, smashed onto the roof of one home, and even caused some small fires. Three vehicles were damaged. It's really unfortunate for whoever lives in that house. They got roof damage and it looks like one of their cars is pretty damaged and the sidewalk's all torn up. Um, but it, it seems like no one was hurt, uh, which is the most important thing. And no one was injured, but much of the Bay Area experienced high winds yesterday, rather unusual for the middle of June. Winds may have also caused a canoe to capsize in the Bay. The Coast Guard says an overturned canoe washed ashore in the Berkeley Marina yesterday afternoon with a body inside. The body was found by a bystander. The victim has not been identified just yet. Emergency responders taped off the area as they searched for anyone else in the water. But they say it appears that the victim was in that canoe alone when it tipped over. And windy weather also fueled a pair of Bay Area brush fires. This one erupted just off Highway 4 in Concord yesterday afternoon. It quickly grew to 25 acres as wind gusts of up to 25 miles an hour fanned those flames. At one point, the fire threatened a church near Willow Pass Road, but fire crews were able to knock it down before it could do any real damage. And in southern Santa Clara County, another wildfire got uncomfortably close to several homes in Morgan Hill. It started around 1230 yesterday afternoon near DeWitt Avenue and quickly burned through five acres of brush. The flames also charred a few fences before firefighters got things under control. Authorities in Arizona are investigating a possible hit and run an incident involving a Border Patrol vehicle. A Native American man says the driver ran him over and then drove away. Reporter Jamie Yukas has the video. This video is just 37 seconds long, but appears to show a 34-year-old Paulo Remus getting hit by a Border Patrol vehicle. The SUV then drives away. It is not real. Almost a million people have watched the video on social media since it posted. It happened Thursday night in a part of the Tejana Autumn Nation. It is a 62-mile reservation that straddles the U.S.-Mexico border in southern Arizona near Tucson. Tribal leaders oppose President Trump's border wall. It's an area where Native Americans encounter agents often as they look for illegal immigrants and drug traffickers. U.S. Border Patrol says we do not tolerate misconduct on or off duty and will fully cooperate with all investigations. Remus and his family released a statement through community leaders saying he saw the vehicle approaching near his grandparents' home and that's when he started filming. He says when he stepped into the road, the driver accelerated toward him and struck him. Tribal leaders say this is one of many incidents where federal agents acted improperly on their land. In 2003, the tribe says a Border Patrol agent ran over and killed a teenager on the reservation. The officer in that case was later cleared of any wrongdoing. Jamie Yukas, CBS News, Los Angeles. In the South Bay, a gruesome discovery in San Jose's Almaden Valley, a human body inside of a burning car. It was found yesterday morning at Camden Avenue and Almaden Expressway. First responders found the car engulfed in flames in the body inside. Authorities are trying to determine if it was a suicide or the result of foul play. The driver of this car got a free ride to jail from the sheriff's deputies in Marin. They say he was cruising on the flat tire with no headlights on when they pulled him over. He was arrested on suspicion of DUI. And lawmakers in San Mateo County will vote on Tuesday on whether to wipe out fees for juvenile inmates. The supervisor behind the resolution says jails are not motels. Incarceration is punishment enough. And for us to um, saddle uh, young people and their families with debt um, is just is not acceptable. And so we need to make sure that um, change takes place. Now, the state outlawed the practice of charging families to house juvenile inmates earlier this year. But the San Mateo County proposal would erase uncollected bills from past years. About 6,000 families would be forgiven for a collective debt of more than $12 million. Let's all get along seemed to be the unofficial theme of a rally at Oakland's Lake Merritt, the site of a couple of pretty ugly incidents recently. Now, yesterday, people at the rally recalled an April incident in which a woman called police on a man who was just barbecuing. Many believe that it was racially motivated. And earlier this month, a man threw the belongings of a homeless man into the lake. The accused man in that case is charged with second-degree robbery for allegedly stealing a cell phone at the lake the next day.
We don't always need to just be resisting, right, and screaming and yelling. We need to be together in community and harmony. Now, as for the homeless man, Greg Drew Marks, and people have donated food, clothing, and blankets, a GoFundMe page, which has raised money, which organizers plan to use to get him into permanent housing. And a pair of water main breaks in the Walnut Creek area turned streets into rivers. The first cast iron pipe burned, uh, burst just after 1 o'clock yesterday morning on Newell Avenue, just beyond the city limits. And even after the crews shut off the water, it left a muddy mess behind. And crews worked most of the day to clean things up. In other news, an out-of-control taxi careened into a sidewalk in Moscow, injuring at least eight people. <laughs> Well, as you can see there, people scrambled to get out of the way in a spot a few hundred feet from Red Square. One of the victims is in serious condition. And later, a, a truck with a giant magnet lifted the car, which appeared to have front end damage. Bystanders said the driver tried to run away, but people held him until police arrived. He later told officers that the crash was an accident. This all happened ahead of the World Cup match today in Moscow between Mexico and Germany. The Mexican embassy says that two of its citizens are among the injured. And video of flames shooting out from the underside of a Tesla Model S is going viral online. Actress Mary McCormick posted the video. She said her husband's car spontaneously burst into flames on Friday in the middle of Santa Monica Boulevard. She says he was driving along when a passerby spotted the fire and told him to pull over. Now, no one was hurt. Tesla says it is now investigating the incident, which it calls extremely unusual. Some even tinier homes are getting a fresh paint for a good cause. Their dog houses modeled after Snoopy's from the Charlie Brown comic strip. More than a dozen organizations were at the Charles Schultz Museum in Santa Rosa creating custom paint jobs. They'll be auctioned off to raise money for families who lost their homes in last year's deadly wildfires. Now, among those homes was the peanut creator himself, Charles Schultz. The dog house is iconic for Snoopy, and it just it means so much to, I think, a lot of the people that lost their homes and it just ties together with the museum and, and how we want to help families here. If you want to buy one of the dog houses and show support, the auction kicks off September 29th at the Charles Schultz Museum. Meanwhile, a bizarre break-in has people talking in South Lake Tahoe. It was all caught on camera in a house. Lane Sykes and Carol Schofield went out with friends on Wednesday, and while they were gone, a huge bear turned their kitchen window into a takeout buffet. Doors were locked. Uh, we left the back uh, window open, which is a small window, just for ventilation because it was starting to be a nice warm day. I still couldn't understand how a seven foot bear, 300 pounds, can fit through that. This is actually the second time a bear has broken into the couple's home. Last year, it broke down the front door. Good morning, everybody, and happy Father's Day to you fellow dads out there. For those of you wondering about Giants third baseman Evan Longoria, also a father. Tess showed a broken hand. He's out six to eight weeks after surgery is scheduled for Tuesday. We have all well, the Giants in trouble. Madison Bumgarner, not a dad, at the Dodgers. Bottom fifth, tied at one. And this one hung up a little too long for Enrique Hernandez, a dad. He crushed it, a two-run jack. Giants lost the game final of three to one. Bumgarner now 0-2 for the season. Back to Oakland, California, Sun Soak Days fans game with the Angels in the six. Stephen Piscotti, not a dad, but he's out of Amador Valley High School. How about a bases loaded liner? It scored two with the A's, won the game final of six to four. They can win the series later on today. And from that, we go to the U. S. Open. Phil Mickelson, a father. Boy, the topic of discussion because of this. This for Bogey at 13, third round. The ball sailed past the hole. Mickelson on the run, hit the ball while it was still moving. That's a two-shot penalty. He got a 10 on the hole, shot an 81. Folks are calling for him to apologize and then withdraw from the tournament. Your thoughts? We'll talk about it later.